Today on MTG Unpacked, we're going to open a box full of packing peanuts. Actually, this is the Channel Fireball Baller Box for September 2020. So this one just arrived the other day. Uh, this video is not sponsored in any way by Channel Fireball. I purchased this with my own funds. Uh, they go for about 50 bucks US and then you add on the 9.99 shipping, so about $60. I think that's shipping quarterly, so every three months you get one of these. So let's check it out. And if you want to see what we got in the last one, I'll pop a link in the corner. Check it out. Alright, so I'm going to get a huge number of packing peanuts everywhere here, I'm sure. Let's reach in and see what we've got here. There goes the packing peanut. What? I cannot find... Oh, here we go. Here is something. Okay, this is the first little packet of goodies. So we've got some booster packs here. Get this apart. We've got a team bag that wants to hang on to everything. Okay, so we've got a Theros Beyond Death. All right. A Coria Core 2019 Armand Kett and Ravnica Allegiance. Okay, so five packs. We'll open those shortly. What else have we got in here? Something looks like a what is this? A deck box? Oh, that's nifty. Get a closer look here. Deck box with dice tray. Oh, okay, let's open it up, check it out. If it was just a deck box, but uh, let's see here. How do we get this open? This is the uh, intelligence test part of the product. Just, okay, like so. All right, and it has a divider. Oh, I see. In the bottom, there's a little compartment for your dice. Okay, so that's pretty nifty. All right, so that is another thing in the box. And I see something. What is this? Ah, Challenger deck. Final adventure. So I'm not going to bother opening this. Uh, we actually reviewed it on the channel a while back. So I'll pop a link in the corner to that video. You can see what's in here. So these are pretty cool actually. They're uh, both already 60 card deck, 15 card sideboard, five double sided tokens and deck box. The only downside is they're not legal in standard anymore. So I guess that's why they're getting rid of these in the baller boxes, but still good to get some games in. And what the heck are these little things? Little, uh, Got a wheel there. Okay, I need to open these things up. So we'll get the knife here. Do a little bit of surgery on the packets. So what are these? Like life counters or something? We've got a Chandra. Ah, there's multiple wheels. Okay, up to nine. Very nice. And I see there's a little cover on here. All right, and then another. This must be the uh, like the loyalty of the Planeswalker, perhaps? Or maybe that's the loyalty as well? I don't know. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we've got a Chandra. What is this? A... Looks like a Moo. The dog. Okay. I wonder if there's any more in here. Yep, here we go. We've got a Khan. Very nice. And... Am I just going to pull these out one at a time? Everything's still buried in here. Okay, so here's another one. Oh, Liliana. All right. So this, does this have the, yeah, it has the numbers down here as well. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And then we get some sleeves, Magic the Gathering sleeves. I don't usually like using these because they, uh, a little bit too tight, they don't shuffle well. I prefer the uh, Ultra Pro Eclipse sleeves for when I'm playing. Okay, digging around. I found something else here. What is this? Ah, 
are these promo cards? All right, let's get this thing out of the way. There's still more in the box, but uh, we'll go into that momentarily. Let's take a look at these cards. Okay, so we've got a top loader there. All right, so Lightning Bolt Magic Fest promo card. Very nice, okay. What else we have? A foil. Let's get the lighting set up over here. Indomitable Ancients, so Creature Tree Folk Warrior, 210 for four. Okay. Knight of Autumn Foil, Creature Dryad Knight, 21 for three. When it ends the battlefield, choose one, put two plus one plus one counters on Knight of Autumn, destroy a target artifact or enchantment, or you gain four life. Wild Slash Foil. And Mind's Eye Foil. Nice. Artifact for five. Whenever an opponent draws a card, you may pay one. If you do, draw a card. All right, we've got no idea of the value of those, but uh, still pretty nice. And then I think I saw another one of, yeah, we've got another one of these things. Okay, so a little life or loyalty counter. This one with a, like an anime style Liliana. Very cool. Okay, so I think there's what just a play mat. There's a play mat in the bottom here. If I can get it out without spilling packing peanuts everywhere. So let's check it out. Ooh, that is nice. Grand Prix Paris. Channel Fireball. Alright, so we will use that on the channel, I'm sure, at some point. So a nice playmat there. Let's set that aside. And I'll check if there's anything else and then we'll start cracking some packs here. And pop that over there. Okay, so let's get stuck in here. So this is looking pretty good. So you get about, let's call it like $60. They say there's about a hundred bucks worth of value, which is probably about right if you were to buy all this stuff separately. So let's see how we do on the packs here. We've got Ravnica Allegiance. So we've got a Slimebind, Spike Wheel, Acrobat, Hazda Officer, Plague White, Axbane Beast, Deface, Oars of Locket, Skitter Eel, Wrecking Beast, Scuttle Gator, an Uncommon's Frilled Mystic Elf Lizard Wizard, that always cracks me up. Scrabbling Claws, Spirit of the Spires, and oh wow, Blood Crypt. Fantastic. Swamp Mountain Tap for Black or Red as an Field. You may pay two life if you don't an Field tapped. What are the chances? All right, Simic Gilgate and a Frog Lizard token. Okay, so I'll put that card over there. So let's switch gears, let's leave the Armand Cat to last, see if we can get anything out of Core 2019 here. Alright, we've got Knight's Pledge Anticipate, Anake Ogre, Inspired Charge, Child of Night. Thought that was something there, an extra card, Titanic Growth, Hired Blade, Highland Game. Colossal Dreadmore, Essence Scatter, Blood Divination for the Uncommons, Hyromancer's Cage, Diagraph Ghoul, and the rare is Banefire. Not bad, Sorcery for X and Red. Does X damage to any target effects? There's five and one, the spell can't be counted, any damage can't be prevented. Pop that over there, Mountain and a Zombie token. Okay, on to Ikoria. So this. What is this? Is there, okay, there's a pull tab here. This is printed in Japan, apparently. Okay, so we've got a human soldier, a mountain, and the rare, oh no, foil honey mammoth. Okay, and the rare is unpredictable cyclone. Enchantment for five. If a cycling ability of another non-land card will cause you to draw a card, instead exile card from the top of your library into your exile card that shows a card type. With the cycle card, yada yada yada, you can read the rest there. Duskfang Mentor, Ivy Elemental, 
Chittering Harvester, and he comes thwart the enemy, tentative connection, wingfold Terron, blade vanish, gust of wind, coordinated charge, essence scatter, ferocious tiger gorilla, and corpse churn. Okay, on to the next one. So we get a Theros Beyond Death. Okay, got a wolf token, a forest. And the rare, Timorette calls the dead. So as the saga enters and after your draw step, add a law canter sucker after three. All right, not bad. Pop that over there. Careless Celebrant, Sweet Oblivion, and Enemy of Enlightenment for the Uncommons, the Commons, Unknown Shores. Wrap in Flames, Altar of the Pantheon, Vexing Gull, Revoke Existence, Myers Grasp, Elite Instructor, Temple Thief, Chain to Memory, and Omen of the Hunt. Okay, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. We've got a ton of Zendikar Rising stuff coming up, so stay tuned. We did a bunch over the weekend as well. Alright, we have Hecma Sentinels, Nimble Blade Kenra, Sparring Mummy, Naga Oracle, Haze of Pollen, Festering Mummy, check out the face on that thing, holy moly, Winds of Rebuke. Final Reward, Dissenter's Deliverance, Cartouche of Strength, and Uncommon's Open into Wonder, yep, Manglehorn, Crocodile Crossing, yes, he's back, and the rare is Shadow of the Grave, instant for two, return to your hand, all cards in your graveyard that you cycled or discarded this turn, a Full Art Plains, and Heart Piercer Manticore Token. Okay, so that is it for the Channel Fireball Baller Box. So, a bunch of fun stuff. I like these little uh, counter things here. So, what did we get? Five of those. So, that's pretty cool. Of course, the Chandra, probably the highlight here, or maybe the Liliana. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comment section what you think of these. Are you planning to pick one up? I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.